Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be doing a really fun off the mat tutorial. Um, this is a special request and I'm actually gonna be making it. So it's we're making the one with the hearts in her hair, but the request was not to use the eyes on this image, but use the eyes on this image. So we're doing some, you know, we're gonna mess around with that. Um, there's lots of tips and tricks on this one because um, the hair is going to be an issue because it's so big so we're going to have to be um yeah working that a little bit so anyway please subscribe if you haven't and um we'll get started thanks all right so first thing is let's make these two girls of equal height so that we can make sure that the eyes um that their eyes are you know of the right size so let's do 30 inches and let's do this one 30 inches as well. So when you click on it, I'm just gonna type in 30 for the height and you can just hit tab. Because the image is locked, it's gonna change the width accordingly. So let's zoom out over here. So I'm going to go down to 25% so that I can see a little bit better. All right, so it looks like looks like the girls are about the same height, right? So on this one, or about they are the same height because we did do 30 inches but that they look proportionate so let's ungroup it let's grab the eyes perfect and bring this to the front arrange send to the front and let's make sure that you know it's um it's about the same size okay the mouth is about the same size the eyes perfect so here are her eyes let's get rid of this little girl over here and oh this is not a good sign okay <laughs> like it's taking way too long let's grab this girl and duplicate it for one second um, because I want to flatten it so that we always have an image of what she looks like. Oh man, I don't like it when Design Space starts acting up because on a off the map project, right? Um, there's so many pieces, so many steps that if Design Space is acting up, it's really not cool. <laughs> I can't even duplicate it right now. It's not like. All right, so maybe we won't duplicate it. Oh, all right, let's look at this thing. Um, let's ungroup it. She's already 30 inches. And I would say a lot of this, well, oh, let's check the face. Let's make sure that the face is, um, so I have the face over here, right? Let's go to contour and let's contour everything out and leave just the face. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so the face is 13 inches by 9.4. But here's the thing. It does not have the little caution sign like these two, which means that it can cut um i believe it means that it can cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock but to make sure we're going to unlock it and we're going to tilt it to change the dimensions to see if we oh, okay we can work with this 11.785 and 10.4 as long as one side is under 11 and a half inches the other side you could technically go all the way up to 12 inches um because your your cardstock is 12 inches right but design space limits it and says oh, we will only cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half but your other option is you can cut it 11 and a half by 23 and a half right if you had the long mat um so in this case even if you don't have the long mat we can pretend that we do put your 12 by 12 cardstock but don't put it all the way at the zero zero line put it a quarter of an inch down, it will extend past the 12 inch line and it will cut to 12.25, which means in this case, it will cut your 11.785 inches. I hope that makes sense to you. All right, so now that we know that, that's all good. Let's undo this little thing real quick. 
let's get it shaped back to the right place because I want to put this back. The reason why I want to put it back is I want to um, go back to contour and show all. I want to show you the bottom half because look it, there's no reason that we need this whole bottom half to cut like this because it um, it's an arm that's separated by the dress and the neck and the other arm and the legs. So we can slice those pieces out and that will make it easier for us. So what we wanna slice that out with is, do, 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 let's think about this. Um, let's slice it from the black dress right here. So here's our black dress. Let's hit the shift key and grab the skin, right? So here's the skin and the black dress and let's slice this. Right, so now we have the individual pieces and we could slice some more if we wanted to because look at the shoes, the shoes cover a lot of this and we don't need all of this part. So we could, let's bring her back. Let's just do the shoes, just so that we don't waste so much cardstock, right? So that looks about right. Um, let's go look at the shoes. Where are the shoes? The cute little shoes. Um, so see, this is where it's nice to have another image, but we don't have that. Oh shoot, ah, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. What I meant to do was grab this skin color and arrange and um, move backwards. I want to be able to see the shoes. Move backwards. Let's move this all the way down here. Okay. So where are the shoes? This is the shoes. We're going to take this. Hit the shift key and the skin and we're going to slice. Okay, so I think that will help us. Let's move everything over and see what we have. So yeah, so we only need this top part, right? So let's, on this one, contour, let's get rid of the, the little pieces down here. So this is the skin now, right? Um, let's scroll down for a second. Okay, so here's our skin. We know the face is good, which means these little itty bitty parts will be good as well. We are going to, uh, we wanna separate this. So we wanna separate this into the face. One, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces. So they're all kind of close together. So I'm gonna use contour to separate out these pieces to basically, I don't wanna say ungroup because they're not grouped together right now. They're, they're welded together as one piece right so now we're gonna we want to separate them so that we can cut it on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock so I want six separate pieces I need six total images so I'm gonna go to duplicate and here's my second third fourth fifth and six each one of these we're gonna go to contour and one by one we're gonna hide all the other pieces so first one Let's click hide all, and it leaves me just the head, okay? And we know the head is um, already good, right? So here's our head. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to contour. We can hide all, and we can start using this. I want this one, I don't want the face. Okay, so here's our arm, right? The next one, go to contour. We're gonna hide all, we're just going down this line. I want this arm and not this face. Okay, so there's that piece. Now let's get the neck or whatever comes next, okay? So we're gonna go to contour, hide all, and I want the neck, I don't want the face. So here is my neck. Right, and my neck is two inches by, basically two inches by two inches. So we wanna separate these pieces so that when we go to the cutting mat, we can be really efficient and put everything right up next to each other. 
Um, all right, so what would, what do we have left? The legs. So on this one, let's click contour, hide all. I want this leg, I don't want the face. So you can see we can either click in the picture or on the right-hand side panel. Sometimes it's easier to use the panel, the right-hand side panel, but um, let's click on this one and we have just the other leg that's left, right? So hide all and we want this one, we don't want the face. And there, you have all the skin color pieces now all separated and it's all good. <laughs> all right, let's look at the next one. We don't need this. Sometimes they're not completely lined up, so when we slice, they give us the weird little pieces. Now, let's look at all these things. We don't need this. So here, so we can get rid of all these little things. So here is the shoe. This is the skin color that we don't need. Here's the red. The red is great, right? It's a big old piece like that. We're gonna wanna separate these though so that we can really push them up next to each other when we go to the cutting mat. Um, te technically, we can cut this, right? It's five inches by three and a half inches, but we have this middle space right here that feels um, a little wasteful, right? Especially if you use nice cardstock. If we put this up right next to each other, you have more usable scrap for, ne for your next project. And the way I would do that is because we have these two pieces, I would just bring in a large square. And let's do that now. Okay, and let's move this over here. Let's do this one first. So with my square, I'm going to cover completely the left foot, right? So now I'm gonna grab these two and slice. And what I'm doing is I'm basically slicing the two pairs of socks apart from each other, socks or shoes, whatever this thing is. All right, so now we have this guy all separated, right? The scrap, oh, the scrap results, the slice results we can delete. And here's our other foot. Okay, same thing with the red. We're just gonna squeeze this in over here. You wanna make sure that the piece you're slicing apart is completely covered in this square and only that piece. So I'm gonna slice that out and now our red is gonna be separated as well. Okay, um, I will leave this square here for a little while to see what else we need to do. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go to upload right now. I'm going to upload her again because I want to see all the pieces. So let's do it like this. I'm going in. There she is. And I'm going to add to canvas. Okay, so on this little girl, I'm gonna flatten it so it becomes one piece so that I'm not confused by all the different moving parts. I really want her as just a visual for me to kind of gauge what we have. So we have this outline and okay, so we have the hair. Let's move the hair out of the way. Just, okay, here are the hearts and the hair let's look at the dress the dress are stripes and here and the bows are black but interesting that the bows so i want to do this background in black because i don't really have a good let me think about this. Um, okay, you know what, I, let's do this. I'm gonna keep it this gold color. I'm gonna do it in a gold glitter cardstock. That's gonna be my background. Um, okay, so we've got that. We've got these pieces. These pieces I wanna slice apart because the blue can be squished more together. So let's look at all the pieces. 
Our dress is good. We don't need this black piece. Oops. Well, okay. We don't need this black piece unless you want this black outline right here. So the question is, do I want the black outline or do I want the gold outline? I'm going to keep it and say I want the black outline. I also want the black bows. Um, okay. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm like thinking while we're doing this. The hearts I'm going to separate, right? Because they don't need to be so separated like this. So let's grab the hearts and slice out. We're almost done. The only thing we need to work on is the hair because the hair is too big and the background. Everything else is in pieces that we can deal with. Um, so let's move this heart down. We're just separating the hearts right now. And I'm gonna separate this heart even because, let's see if I can do that. So the hearts are done, and then I wanna zoom in. I wanna look at these laces and see what we have going on over here. Okay, so this I'm going to delete. The slice results from the hearts, I'm gonna move over here and delete. Okay, because our hearts are now each individual piece, so that's all good. Let's move this out of the way. I think everything is good. Let's see, because how big is our dress? Okay, our dress is good. Our, let's look at our eyes. What's going on? Oh, the eyes are two little dots. Okay, so we're gonna wanna separate out the eyes in a little bit. Let's zoom in and see what we have on the shoelaces. Okay. The shoelace is great. It's basically one whole piece. Now the dots, it's gonna be up to you whether or not you wanna add the dots to give more, um, more detail. So what I would do is, I would do this. Let's, oops, not image. I wanna bring in a shape. I'm gonna slice this apart so that it, there's not so much um, space. So let's grab this square. Make this square a little bit bigger because I'm gonna use the same square. Okay, so let's move this square over here. Let's slice this apart so that the laces we can squish up next to each other. And then I'm going to keep, I'm not gonna slice out each individual dot, but I'm gonna slice each row out so that we can save some space later. So see, this is one set of laces, so cute. This we don't need, right? Here's our other set. And this is what I mean, I would do this. Because each row is pretty efficient, so I will do it like this so that we could put the rows right next to each other. So it's just gonna be a bunch of circle dots that we're cutting out. And you see how like there's a lot of stuff right here when we're slicing, but my mouse is only picking up. I'm gonna show you on this one. I'm gonna put this one over here, okay? And you see this is still in here, so we've got multiple items within the square. But my mouse is gonna start from over here, and I'm just gonna grab the dots and the square. So it doesn't pick up all the stuff that's over here, and so that's why slicing is still available. When you see that your slice button is grayed out, that means you either have only one piece that you picked up or you have more than two. Um, I would say that slicing is usually a user error if you have an issue, okay? So, all right, here are our dots. 
the slice results, we don't need that from the square, so I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna leave, uh-oh, hold on, did I? Oh, I got rid of the background, sorry. I must have picked this up. So let me undo there, okay. So there's our background. Okay, these little guys I'm gonna delete. So we've got that separated. These are little dots in the hands. I'm gonna separate them as well because it's you know like eight inches. There's no reason for that. So let's slice that out. Now I would be tempted, we're gonna look at the colors that are used on this project because I think I have a little bit, uh, maybe too many colors for my liking. Okay, so we've got that. Let's look at the eyes. The eyes, we know we have the dots, so let's do that. Let's separate that. And I believe we have the same thing with the two brown pieces, okay. So, I'm gonna do that. So these I'm keeping attached. I'll probably regret it later, but. Okay, so this and this we can get rid of, right? Now everything is kind of separated. See, so we can cut that together. These two are together. We only have this thing left. So let's put that over here and then slice the eyes apart. And whenever you have multiple colors right next to each other, like the eyes, the eyes are two different shades of brown, I would definitely um, do one in regular cardstock and one in glitter cardstock. If you do glitter, glitter, you're not gonna, it's, it's gonna be too much and you're not gonna be able to see the difference and appreciate the difference and the glitter it'll just be like one glitter blob. So I would recommend that one is in regular cardstock and maybe even with some texture on it. So like, um, you know, with the lines or whatever. I'm not a big fan of just like flat cardstock, like um, copy paper. I feel like that's, um, I don't know, just kind of boring. I don't really like it, so. But it's all per personal preference. So, all right, we can get rid of this. I believe at this point, everything, oops, we haven't sliced this, the dress. The dress we can keep like this. Um, I'm just gonna keep it like this. <laughs> I'm gonna use regular cardstock, so I don't care that I'm gonna, um, you know, this won't be as shiny and, or as uh, efficient. Um, okay, so we can, Let's leave her here for one more thing. Let's move all these pieces out of the way. We're gonna slice the background and then we gotta slice her hair. That's all we have left. Now I'm leaving her in here so that we can kind of see like where we wanna slice things up, okay? Um, but I believe everything's good. Let's go to color sync really quickly and just see all the different colors that we have. So we've got a lot going on here. So we've got our skin color. We've got the shoes. The shoes are a different color. And I'm tempted to make the shoes. Uh, all right, I won't mess with the shoes right now, but let's look at this pink. So we've got, oh, um, Shoot, I don't remember which eyes we want. Just shoot me right now. <laughs> We've got a set of eyes. These are the eyes that we want, right? Let me look closer. 
I should have deleted the other eyes. Um, let's bring this to the front. Arrange, send to the front. Yeah, these ones are different from this one. So these are the ones that we want, which means I need to get rid of these. So let's get rid of these, even though we slice them before I get them confused. Okay, so let's ungroup this. Oh, these are different. They're ungrouped completely by itself. So that's nice. Let's ungroup each one of these and see what we have. So I would undo this because the pieces are kind of small. What I would do is I would slice this out of here. I don't even know where this gray is. But if you slice it, then what will happen is there's a space now for this white and you can duplicate this. So instead of keeping track of a small white circle, what I would do instead is I would turn this, go to contour, hide all, okay, and then I would make that piece white. So what will happen is this piece will sit on top of that one, arrange, send to the front, right? The white's gonna pop through, but I'm not dealing with a super small piece. I would do the same with that other piece, right? So let's see if if I can get it. Um, I didn't pick it up. Why is it not letting me pick up? Oh, maybe because it's still grouped together? It is still grouped together. Okay. So I'm gonna ungroup it. And I'm gonna line this up with this and I'm going to grab these two pieces. Oh, I still didn't grab it. Hold on. Okay. So you see now this piece is open, right? So I'm going to contour and I'm going to close this piece up. And this one, oh shoot, I needed to duplicate it. I apologize. Okay, so this one is the lighter brown. We're gonna need to color sync this up. So that's gonna be the lighter brown. This is gonna be the darker one. And the darker one's gonna have both pieces. So the way it's gonna be is this dark brown is gonna be on top, okay? It's going to be on top of this one, so this little part is going to show up as brown, and then it's going to be on top of the white one, so the white's going to come through. So these are three bigger pieces that are easier to handle than these three little pieces over here. Granted, I gave up on that little silver. I don't think we need that, so I'm going to get rid of that. Now, these eyes, what we can do is we can duplicate, and then we're going to flip it. We're gonna flip it horizontal so that it's now gonna be on this side. So now we're done with this with this eye as well. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that. All right, so we've got the mouth here. So now we're all good. Let's zoom back out. So we're just doing things to make it easier for us to deal with, right? So we've got everything here. Let's move her over. I think this little thing Okay, so we're all good with that. Now let's go to color sync and let's 
narrow down some of these things. I think we have way too many pinks going on. Um, like this pink, I feel like should be, maybe we'll do the pink of her lips differently, okay? So we'll have two pinks. So we don't need this lip. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. All right, so we've got, we don't need this pink of lips. I think this was a duplicate. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this here. So we've got lips, let's go to color sync really quickly. Sorry, we've got activity. Okay, we've got multiple lips here, so I need to delete another lip. Let's go back to layers, because they're like different colors. Okay, so let's delete this one. Let's go back to color sync and see what we have. So we've got two sets of pink. We've got the hearts and the hair. We also have the heart and the the little character. So I'll keep those two pinks. So I'm good with two pinks, two blues. I'm good there. This is the skin color. Um, the eyes. The eyes I'm gonna make white. I don't, wait a minute. Oh, we don't even need these eyes. Can I delete from here? I can't delete from here. So here's the brown eyes, the light brown eyes. Okay, so I think we're good. The only thing I'm getting rid of are these eyes. Um, so let's go to layers. And here we can get rid of these. All right, so now we've got everything but the hair and the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to upload. This is an SVG file that I created. It's just so much easier than recreating the nine sets of squares every time. So it's an SVG file that's available on my website. Um, so once you have it uploaded, it's just another image like any other image that you have. And I'm gonna go here just to, cause I know it's in here. <laughs> I did name it three by three and four by four. So you can always go and search by images as well in your uploaded images. But this is so fun. You get to see all the different projects that I have going on. Um, so where is it? Here it is. So these squares are totally flush with each other. So it's, I'm gonna add to canvas and show you. So they're already flushed together. All you need to do is you want to round this up to the nearest whole number. And the reason is that way we can, if we need to move these squares around later, it's better that way, trust me. So for the X coordinate, I'm going to put at two and for the Y coordinate, I'll put at three. So the X coordinate is the one running across. So it says go over two units. That's the beginning of this one go down three units and that's the beginning of our square. So that's how these coordinates work. All right, let's scroll down and go get our background. Arrange, send to the front. So here she is. Let's see where we wanna slice her. So I feel like something like this would be great because her whole body is one, right? She's gonna have a little bit of a seam right here um, but I believe like, you know, we're going to have everything sitting on top, right? Like her shoulders, her dress. So that's fine. This one's going to run down right here and right here. I feel like this is as good as it gets. So our squares, we can ungroup it. We don't even need these squares over here. So I'm just going to delete it. We don't even need this. So our background is gonna be five pieces, OK? 
okay? We're taking a 30 inch character that we don't have paper that's 30 inches, right? And 22 inches across, right? This is a big, a big person. Um, we're gonna slice it into pieces that your Cricut can cut with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. That's basically what we're doing. We're slicing it up into five puzzle pieces that we can then piece together again later, okay? So let's slice this one at a time, one square at a time with the image, okay? So it's so much easier, right? Um, I don't know why it took me so long to just even make the SVG file. <laughs> I can't tell you how many of these I've done. Um, all right, so the next tip is I want to, I like to move these over and keep them in the same order so that when I go and cut this, I know exactly you know where everything goes. This one looks pretty easy, but sometimes I, you have a lot of moving parts, so, you know, <laughs> um, I have definitely struggled piecing things together again. So I'm just getting rid of all the slice results because we don't need it. So now, let me save this, and I hope this doesn't like ruin it for me right now. So third Harajuku girl. Okay, now the hair is gonna be special because we wanna make it look like these are purposeful seams, okay? I feel like we can do a like a seam right here where it's like your bangs are separated from your puffs. So the way I would do that is, let's take a circle. So we're going to kind of create that arc that we want, right? So that looks good. Let's duplicate this circle. And this one I'm gonna arrange and move backwards. I'm also gonna make it a different color just so that we can see it better, okay? So, all right, so. Okay. So let's look at this. This circle is 17.389 inches. So 17.389. Let's make this 17.5, okay? So we're making it a little bit bigger. And for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this one. Um, shoot, okay, let me think about this. Can I access that? Oh, I can, okay. So I am going to do something like, like that, okay? I'm creating that thin seam. Um, actually, it's bigger, so I feel like I need to make it bigger. 17, let's make it 17 point, it was 17.389, so 17.589. Let's see if that makes it a difference, okay. All right, let's try this. Let's slice the two circles. Okay, so it's slicing. So what we're gonna do is I was trying to create this little piece right here. So let's delete this. And 
this I don't need. All right, so now I'm taking this curve and I'm gonna put it right here and I'm creating a deliberate seam, okay? So you see where that is? Now I'm gonna grab these two pieces and I'm gonna slice. So I'm basically turning the hair from one piece into deliberately two pieces, okay? So it's gonna look like that. So to me, that's like, that's her hair is separated, right? Um, let's see what the dimensions are. We're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna separate out the pieces. So this one's gonna be just this. Okay, so it's still big, right? But this one, we're gonna get rid of this top part. Let's see what we have. Okay, so this is 12.387. Let's unlock it, twist it. Okay, so this will cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, right? And it's gonna be seamless. This little doodad, what we could do is, I think, let's create circles to match this. And then we're going to stack them purposely. So it's not a seam because we're gonna say it's part of the design. So we're gonna recreate this shape so that it's perfect. like that, okay? So I'm gonna slice this. So you see this little guy right here is gonna sit on top of this and I'm gonna have it stacked. It's gonna be dimensional. It's gonna feel like it's 3D. She's got little puff balls. So here's one. Oops, let me undo that. Okay, I'm gonna weld this piece back together, okay? Because that's gonna be our background. That's gonna tell us where to put everything, all right? Then, okay, so let's get rid of this. I know it's gonna look so good though, and it's gonna be in black glitter cardstock, I think. Or maybe I'll have different hair, I'll have to see. <laughs> all right. Let's slice out our middle ball, our middle hair ball. Okay. And the reason why I'm slicing it out is because we have the seam that way, right? Across separating her bangs. So I want these puff balls to also have a right place to sit. So they're not covering that seam that we worked so hard to get. So see, this is gonna be the middle puff ball. And then I'm gonna put this back together. I'm gonna weld it. And then let's get this last one. So I think the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna have this, hold on, let's put this all the way to the back, arrange send to the back. So I'm gonna have my first puff ball here, okay? It's gonna sit on top. Then I'm gonna have this one sitting on top of that one. Because I kinda wanna hide that little mistake that didn't slice perfectly. And then I'm gonna have this last one sitting on top. And then don't forget, we're gonna have the hearts kinda like popping out on top of that too. So it's gonna look, it's gonna look really, really good. All right, so we have one more circle. I can't wait to make this because I feel like I've been really experimenting with these off the mat pieces and you know, coming up with new ways to hide things. And I feel like this is gonna work, but I wanna prove it to you guys that it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, let's slice these two pieces. Just kind of like the bear that I did recently, right? We made it more dimensional by adding like this little piece that moves. So this flower twirls, 
and so it pops out it's covering some of the seams and it just feels to me like really innovative and like deliberate right like we're we're hiding the seams but there are no seams it's supposed to be there i don't know i'm i'm excited about it all right here is our last piece let's get rid of that all right so this is good we're gonna slice uh, we're gonna put this back together we're gonna weld it back together so it's right now it's one piece but we do need to slice it because it is 15.5 inches by 15.5 inches so i'm gonna slice it just in half because we've got our balls sitting on top of it so it's okay to have a seam um so but the reason why we even have it is so that it gives us like shape as to where we're supposed to put it. It's, I'm gonna slice it like that, okay? So that should put it into two pieces that our Cricut can cut. So, twelve point eight five seven by seven and a half, but I think if we rotate this, it'll be fine. 11.3 by 10.8, perfect. This one we can get rid of. And this black, I think it should all be. Um, let's make it all black. All right, so let's think about this. Our background is going to be a gold glitter because I don't want the seams to show. So I'm almost wondering if our black hair, our black hair can still be glitter because the colors, are, there's such a contrast between the, the blingy gold and the dark black. So that's going to all be black glitter cardstock. I think, I think we're good. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to save it. and we're gonna make it. All right, so I hope that was super helpful and you can kind of see how my brain thinks uh, when I'm dealing with off the mat. We're employing every trick that we can to make it seamless by using the grid of squares that are, you know, um, that are flush with each other, picking the right cardstock, um, cutting deliberate seams where we just can't hide anything. We're gonna make it look like the file was always with a deliberate seam. So we're kind of just putting all of those things together to make, you know, as a whole, this seamless 30 inch adorable project. All right, <laughs> end of lecture. I will see you guys when I piece this together. Bye.